Rob Dew with InfoWars.com. You're looking at Grand Central Station, and next door is the Grand Hyatt Hotel. Up there is the Chrysler Building if you're looking for your New York landmarks. And here is a giant speaker that it looks like some protesters have just erected inside this barrier here to protest Donald Trump coming to New York City, along with Ted Cruz and John Kasich, although there's not much outcry for him. There's definitely a lot of anti-Trump signs and Black Lives Matter signs here. We were just on the Alex Jones show with Anthony Gucciardi showing people the process, but here's a bunch of signs. I got cardboard tubes on them. Uh, the yellow, black, those are Black Lives Matter signs. There's some in Spanish, some in English. Uh, this is about, looks like a young man who was killed. His name was Akai. And uh, so the, the preparations are ongoing right now. As you can see, most there's not a lot of protesters here now. It's mostly people coming home or going to work. But they have set up these barricades. There's a lot of police on hand. A lot more police looks like coming. There you can see some more signs. The preparations are going fast and furious at this point. As you can see, uh, protesters have now shut down East 42nd Street, not allowing cars to come by. And now they are about to march, it looks like, into the road. Police are having to redirect traffic at this point in time. This is definitely an interesting day thus far. We're here! We're here! We're fabulous! As you can see, they're trying to move their uh, all the people further into the road and a major intersection at East 42nd Street and Lexington Avenue in downtown New York City. This is crazy. And here is the uh, the hotel where the uh, GOP uh, gala is being conducted right now with Donald Trump, John Kasich, and Ted Cruz. So now I'm standing in the middle of a major intersection. Country is 
guns or the genocide? The genocide. How about the Indians? The Indians Sick. Uh, they got sick, and that wasn't that wasn't like on purpose. The Indians got sick on purpose. So, so, oh, okay, so you want to go in my bank account and take all my money away? Yeah! 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 Why? Yeah. 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 Because we hate your guns! What? What did I do? This! What did I do? This! I'm trying to be friends with you guys! Yes. Yes. No, we hate you! My stepdad hates you! My stepdad hates me! I'm your stepdad! Don't kill me! I'm not your mom! My stepdad hates me! And I hate myself! And I love Donald Trump! supporters all I can say is fascism and uh, socialism doesn't work uh, we need to be working we need to earn our own money we don't need anybody uh, supporting us we need to be working and keep busy and, and make a great income and raise our families and uh, we've already we already know that uh, socialism doesn't work we already tested that yeah and just to be clear you you went into this area to promote your business you didn't go in there to like certify with anybody no I went there to promote my business and to give out flyers and tell people to learn how to protect themselves and learn how to shoot an AR-15 because I didn't know how to shoot an AR-15 until two years ago and uh, once I learned how to shoot an AR-15 and the Glock I was very happy and and uh, I think every every citizen who is uh, not a criminal should have a firearm access. Joe Biden says you should get a shotgun. Uh, oh, a shotgun? That's uh, not good for everything. For certain things, but not everything. Right. Yeah. All right, well, good luck to you. Thanks for promoting the Second Amendment. Thank you. All right. Well, that's it for the show tonight. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you here tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central.